morning. My name's Nick. I want to welcome you to vlog number one. Yeah. Gotta get the essentials first. I'm running late today. The reason I'm late today is for two reasons. Uh, one, vlogging is a lot harder than it looks. Uh, so I gotta get used to that. And two, I forgot my ID badge. And I am a teacher at a suburban high school outside of Detroit, and uh, today's security is pretty important. I work in a really nice school. We have 16 kids this year alone scored a perfect score in the ACT. We got a sweet weight room. We've got championships. Our yearbook team, they just won the Spartan Award. Don't exactly know what that is, but I know it's really, really good. Even here, the copiers work. Murals! If you've never seen our volleyball team play, they're incredible. We have an arts department that basically wins every award you can. Do you like science? We got science. Our science is so good that our science teachers consider every other teacher just non-science teachers. So yeah, our school, it's pretty great. It's not perfect, but it offers a lot of opportunities for kids. I love that. So as you've been watching this, I don't know if you've had this in the back of your mind, but I got a feeling you have. Parkland, Florida. I know it's been in the back of my mind the last few weeks. I've invited my friend Mike here to talk a little bit about guns in schools and what he thinks. Mike? Hi. How you doing? I'm good. So, um, you know, I, I think the issue of guns in schools is one that a lot of people have opinions on, and I, I strongly disagree with the idea of teachers uh, being armed in schools. I, I'm willing to acknowledge, though, that people who are recommending that are recommending it um, in a serious way and really do believe that would fix the problem. I think what's probably missing from their perspective, uh, well, a couple things. Number one, they probably come from a culture at home or in their family or maybe even in the, the part of the country they live in where Gun culture is common, and so being around guns, guns feels comfortable, uh, it feels safe, guns might even actually make them feel safer, whereas for people like me who did not grow up around guns, my father-in-law owns some, but I never grew up around them, uh, it feels very uncomfortable. It's a weapon where you know it can do fatal harm, um, you're not familiar with the usage of them, and even if teachers were properly trained, you still have a ton of human beings in the building who are not familiar with that culture and, and the idea of normalcy around a gun, and I think that creates an environment that's not great for learning. Schools are inherently disorderly, right? You have teenagers who occasionally make bad decisions. Um, you have altercations that come from all sorts of things and issues. I've personally worked here long enough to see a, a student physically attack a teacher. Uh, when you add guns to an equation like that, I don't think in the long run it's gonna make buildings safer. So while I, while I can acknowledge that it's an idea that's offered in good faith, I don't think it's the right solution. I wanna hear another person's opinion, so I'm bringing in my uh, fellow colleague, Hattie to get her perspective on this. Okay. Hi, Hattie. How hey, you doing? Pretty good. So, guns in the schools, you bringing them in? No. They make them safer? I think it's a terrible idea. Okay. Um, Why? I am, I'm not opposed to guns at all. My husband's a police officer, and okay. we have guns in our house. I didn't grow up with guns. I'm not, I don't own a gun. Um, but I, I respect guns, and I think that in the hands of someone who knows what they're doing with a gun, it it's a necessary tool, okay. in our, unfortunately, in our world. But I also know the kind of training my husband goes through to carry that gun, and I know the risks that go with that gun. Um, every six months, he goes for hand-to-hand -hand combat training so that no one can take his gun off of him. He okay. has to go to the range and practice. I mean, aside from all the other teaching and learning things that would happen if you had teachers armed, there's the practicalities of training in a smart way that no way you could ever get the kind of training for teachers that you'd need unless you're willing to invest an obscene amount of money. And if we've got that kind of money, I think we could use it in different ways to make our schools even safer. Well, let me ask you one more question. Sure. I, I heard on the news yesterday that there's uh, some talk about adding marshals to the schools where maybe you have five or six highly trained, you know, basically just marshals like on an airplane. Do you think that might be a good idea if we had people that are, they're here just to keep kids safe. That's their only right. job. Right. Yeah, I mean, that feels more like an extension of the police liaison role that we have now in some ways. I, I still would argue that 
you need to be very careful when you start to do anything that would permanently alter the culture of school. And I think when you start putting visibly armed people inside of a building that's supposed to be about learning and about community uh, and about a comforting environment, things that are going to stress out students and, and give them constant reminders of violence are maybe not the best way to solve the problem. All right. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, man. Okay, so there you go. Two opinions. I tend to agree with Mike and Hattie. I think they make some really good, valid points. Um, but I guarantee you there's a few teachers here that don't exactly see that way. So put some comments below. What do you think? Should teachers be armed? Should we have marshals here? Uh, maybe there's some other solutions. Let me know. Uh, also put some comments below. What are the kind of videos you want to see about our uh, little teacher life we got going on here? Uh, and don't forget, if you like the video, pop that like button. And then please, please, please subscribe. All right, see you in the next one. Oh, one last thing. I promise, we're not always this serious here. Go uh, click here, right there, and uh, I guarantee you those videos will put a smile on your face. I don't wanna die for them to miss me. Yes, I see the things that they wishing on me. Hope I got some brothers that I live me.